good boy. So today we're gonna continue with Cole's groom. We're gonna get his feet done and his tail and his rear end. We may do his back coat and his underline in a separate video, but first we're gonna get started with feet and tail. So what we're gonna need is a nut, my Andis groomer here, clippers I mean, and we're gonna need this 10 blade. See there, it's, a, it's number 10. We'll need our slicker, our thinning shears, our shears here, our scissors, comb, now we're gonna need our Mars stripping tool here. This is another little Mars stripping knife I'm gonna use, probably just on his tail. And then our toenail clippers if he needs his toenails trimmed again. Here's all our equipment. All these will be linked in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna start on Cole's tail. We're gonna get all this fluffy stuff out of here so we can see his bum a little bit better. I'm gonna use my clippers. I'm gonna go upwards. Oh, I buzzed his bum. Good boy. We may come back and use the clippers again, but we'll take off as much as we can with them, and then we'll go back in with our scissors and our clipping knife. Cool. There we go. Just put a bit of hair out in here. Up here. Then I usually take the hair and brush it to one side. Then I take my thinning scissors. I'm going to trim this up to blend into his tail. is so hairy this may take multiple times to do it's cool so tell us looking a lot better now i'm going to take my mars little stripper here and i'm going to just trim it a little bit so i'm going to cut the hairs with it just by plucking at it at this side here just to give it a more natural finish to it take a little bit off both sides and i'll go back in with my thinning scissors and finish it off. Cole's tail is done now. It's got a nice, clean looking, smart tail here. And it's all clean under his bum here. Now we're gonna work his way down to his feet. A lot of work still left to do, eh, Coley? Good boy, pretty head. Okay, I'm gonna start with Cole's back foot here, his left back foot. Good boy. I'm just going to make a little brush out and then I'm going to lift him right here at the ankle and pull his foot up. You can see his dirty, hairy foot. I'm going to trim out all this excess hair. Cole has some rusting in his feet just because he was did a lot of swimming in the summer and he's had two wet feet for too long and I think he has a little bit of that from the winter as well here. Where his feet are wet, it's rusted a bit in here and it never has quite gone away. I gotta clean it all out. And then we're gonna take, oh, sorry, buddy. Then we're gonna take this just up to the bottom of this pad here. Cole, stop. Cole. Cole has tickly feet. Stop. So now I'm gonna brush the front parts of his foot up. We're going to get some of this extra hair off here, and then we're going to go around and shape his foot. There, those are thinning shears. I'm going to go down on a downwards angle. I'm going to get the tops off at the front. Yes. Good boy. You trim and kind of snip and pull a little bit. That's when I'm going to go through his back leg. Okay, so now fluff it up. It still doesn't look quite like a perfect foot yet, but it's on its way. Now I'm going to go around and trim excess up that I can from this angle. 
and on the outside, and then I will get in even thicker, deeper from it. We've got his foot mostly shaped here. I will fix it a little bit more, but we're gonna work on the back of his foot here, the little hawk area, and we're gonna trim that up and we're gonna give it the bell shape again. We're gonna pull his foot out here, and lift all cool of this up. We're gonna do a nice curve just like that. Okay, so we're gonna start on the back of his foot here. I'm gonna groom this up nicely and out. I'm gonna get some little wisps off here. Sorry, okay. Nope. Stop. Too much hair on my brush just a sec. Stop. Okay. We're gonna get down here. And then we brush it back upwards. We get the hair off. Let's see what else we need to do here. I think I brush it quite the right way. Good boy. So I'm just gonna trim just to finish this leg off. I'm gonna leave this for after, but I'm just gonna trim these little flyaways in here just off so he's a nice proper little white sock here Get some of that off okay there we go and there's the finished product it's nice little foot so cole's back feet are done now it's got a nice little line I'm going to tidy up through here in a little bit. I haven't done this side completely, but I've got it down to his nice foot. It's a nice little heel there to his other heel. This side I worked on a bit more. I need to do a bit more tidying, but I tidied up through this line so he can have a definition between the black and the white and down into that nice little back foot. So there'll be some more touch-ups as I go along, but this is kind of how it's going to look for now. His rear and his back feet. Okay, so we're going to continue here on Cole's feet. We're going to get his big, fluffy, big Clydesdale foot here done. I've done this foot over here. It still needs a little bit of some finishing touches, but it's pretty good. And then as we did before, we did already did his back feet. I'll probably touch them up a little bit. They're not 100% to my liking, but they're getting there. So we're going to work on this big one. This is what happens when you leave the foot too long, is it takes a lot longer to get them done. Right. Okay, I'm get this foot here. We take our scissors again. We pull it far down, but right now, I kind of just want to get the bottom that's so furry. We're going to remove that to the side. We try to trim with some of the fur here. So we're going to get inside the pads here. Inside his pads in here. Get all this red, yucky, wet fur out. It's between his toes, just on the outside. We don't want to go inside the toes, just what's lying on his pads. <clears throat> you can work around the edge just a little bit into a round. Well, edge is taking a little bit around, so we want to make it around in the end. Get a round, nice cat paw. And here we're going to start some of these long hairs back here. We're going to pull them down to meet the bottom of this pad here. And then we're going to cut them straight across. Work it, pulls right foot a little bit from under his stomach. You can pull it back under here. You can see it. We're going to trim along the line here. 
back of this pad. We're gonna have to take it up a lot more than that, but that's a good start. And we can get inside still here. <clears throat> Some of his red pad here. Cool. Stop. So to get a little bit, just take it down in stages, especially because Coles is so thick. I'm going to take it up with a little bump behind his foot and we're just going to turn it up just a little bit more like this. Just take a par partial part of it, not all of the hair at once. Work it back just a little bit further. Amber, we give this to your foot too. Good boy. So here I'm going to pull his foot forward. These are all the different angles I use to get his foot right. Do the same. I'm going to go under and I'm going to trim up the pad of his foot. I'll look in between it here. It's nice to keep your dog's feet trimmed even in between groomings so that they bring in less mess into your house when there's mud. There's wet spring approaching. Much nicer, a nice clean foot than a dirty foot. So you can see it's starting to look a bit more like her, his other foot over here. And we're gonna do between the toes, we're gonna back comb the slicker. So if your dog does that, his jiggly feet lift, just lift the other foot, foot, he doesn't have much balance and he won't be trying to lift that foot anymore. So we're gonna go here on a downwards angle, front of his foot. Slowly kind of pulling away a little bit. You can see what you're doing, how much hair is coming off. Do the same over here. Downwards. This is the trickier part. He has so much hair all over his feet. Okay, so it's messy, but it's looking better. Where we have more parts to take off. And we'll pull his front foot, foot forward. We're going to push on this two little pad, push the fur, and just line this up right to his toenails. So I kind of do the same along the side of it. Up. Looks good, buddy. It's looking better. Still got more to do. So I'm just trimming around the edges of this foot. As you can see, it is already looking like a real foot again. Back to its nice cat paw. We just trim around the outside here, trim by his toenail, get it up nice and short. In between the toes a little bit there, and then I'm gonna come over here, trim this side. So we're going around the edge here. here. This little poof that's sticking off, I'm going to take the right angle, my scissors, and just trim that down. There we go, we're gonna do a bit more, but that's a pretty good, pretty nice front foot. We haven't seen in months in this house. Sometimes when you haven't groomed them for a while, you notice that between the toes he will get matted. Cole does this a lot in the summer. So I'm just gonna brush through and make sure he doesn't, which he doesn't. But if they do, um, you can use your thinning scissors here. Just give a little cut to the knot and then just gently brush it out. Okay, I'm gonna sit so I can see Cole better. I'm gonna pull forward his front hair. I'm gonna pull it again from this little, his little heel here. Pull the fur down. So you can see under, there's his fur. I'm going to trim it with the scissors just to the line here. Good boy. Then 
going to pull the rest of his fur forward. I'm brushing it here with my comb. I'm pulling it forward to try all the knots are out. We don't want to cut it too short. We might want to make it long, have it not too short and not too long. I'll have to measure it to the other foot. I don't want to cut too much off here, but just getting started. Anybody? Good boy. Then we'll move on away. You can see. Here, it's getting more even. It's a little uneven right here. I'm going to check it with the other paw. Okay, so we've got this foot done here. There's his other foot. And then here are the back of his legs. Looks pretty good. I haven't taken it too short. I might shorten it a little bit more later, but it looks good right now. I don't want him too short. Eventually, I will take him shorter for the summer when we're swimming and stuff. He doesn't need all this here for swimming, but I won't take him too short. I like him in a full spring cut. So now I'm going to get working on his back and his sides. Strip him a bit more and his big hairy chest here. Why don't I take this down just a little bit and trim this up. Okay, so I've done his chest here. I just took it up probably about a quarter of an inch from here and you kind of make it in another little crescent moon. It goes down and tucks under here. And then we're gonna make a line through his chest here and out through his side here and then up a bit and back down it goes. That's how their underline goes, it's called their underline. There we go. I may have to straighten it out a bit, probably after his bath and I've blown dried it all out here. I'll see what's not quite even. That's looking pretty good, buddy. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little more stripping on Cole's back and then I'm gonna use my thinning shears and just shorten it up in a few little spots, take out a few of the waves. So use the stripping knife again. We'll go with the fur down his sides here. So I'm going to trim through here a little bit with the thinning scissors. Okay, up this way. Get your dog's head to go there. We'll go backwards again. Oh, I'm over. Get through his shoulder here a little bit. He's got some curls in here. the hair flat again we see how it lays probably stand a little bit through here good boy get some of the fur off his leg here and do the same back home trim it down just a bit he's very thick everywhere I'm gonna work on Cole's leg right here and then I'm gonna get back to his back again. I'm gonna to have to try to tidy some of the curls up here. I'm gonna make this line just a little bit cleaner in here. So I'm gonna use my thinning scissors again. So then I'm gonna go just like this and the others I'm gonna use the back comb. So I'm just trimming some of his hair up here and I'm trying to get in here Take some of this excess fur off. He's got a lot. We want to give him a nice leg. So he looks like he has a leg again here. And kind of give him some of his white here. Looks like he has white leg again. So you can see this side's coming along pretty nicely here. I've got his leg a little bit better. I think I need a bit more work there. I've taken a bit off in here. It's starting to come together. And then you look at this side that we haven't touched yet, and this is the difference. It's still not bad over here, but it's too fluffy in here. This needs to lay flat. He probably still needs a little bit through his leg. He's coming together pretty nice. Hey, good boy. Hi, good girl. Hey, Cole, we'll keep grooming. Okay, let's keep grooming. Okay, so I've been working on Cole's underline a bit here. 
You can see I've trimmed through here and then evened it off through here under his foot. Kind of goes up into an arc and then down on this side. It's hard to see because he's pretty frizzy here, but I've taken probably just a couple little centimeters off. If I was doing them for the summer, I'd probably take a bit more, maybe this much more off. But right now we're gonna leave him a little bit long for his groom today. His hair is coming out. <laughs> I'm going to strip his side here. I'm going to take some more hair out of it. I'm going to have to fix this leg right here. It's a bit puffy, just right in here. Stay, buddy. You're looking good. Okay, I'm going to do a little back combing again here up his leg. Okay, so I'm just going to do some of his neck curls here, as you can see. So we're going to back comb up. And then brush down, see what it's like. It's getting better. We'll do a little teeny bit more here on his neck. And back, brush it back down. Stay. We'll do a bit on his side here. He's got quite thick. So these thinning scissors, what they're doing is they don't take all the hair. They're only tripping, trimming some hairs. So it just helps it to lay flatter, and it's taking some of the longer fur down, but it's not completely taking them right off. This way, buddy. I'll just trim it just a little bit on his. There, so his top coat's still lying down flat over mm -hmm. the parts that we've trimmed. Okay, so we're gonna do some of Cole's underline here. So we're gonna try to make a line just about down like this and curve it under. So first I'm gonna work on just trimming this up just a little bit. Right through under his foot. <laughs> he says no touching. And we're gonna do a little bit here. And take it right here. a bit. Try to match it to his other side. I'm going to take it and I'm going to angle it downwards like this. And I'm going to mash it up to the other side. Walkie soon, Cole. Okay, Cole's ready now for his next bath, but his haircut's pretty much done. You can see his nice front and his underline here. His underline needs a little bit of work, but I'm going to bath him first and then finish that up. But he has nice, beautiful four paws done. See the bark? And his bum here. It's all done. And this side and his head. Clean. Good boy. His nice back coat. Yeah, you all done? Yeah. All right. Hi, buddy. Okay, it's so pretty.